Now we're going to move on to the third promise. And the third promise you find on page 59 in your Three Pillars book. And that says, I will draw from here youthful hearts to follow me. When the Blessed Mother says this, what she's telling us, first of all, she wants to draw the young people, the youth, to her heart and away from the diabolical powers. It also means that she wants to draw all of us, regardless of our age, to her heart, that we can remain throughout our entire lives childlike. We know this is so important because Jesus himself told us, Amen, I say to you, unless you turn and become like children, you will not enter the kingdom of heaven. Very important. So she wants to draw the youth, she wants to draw us to her heart and away from the diabolic powers and influences in our lives. There's a beautiful quote from Epiphanes, who was an earl, a bishop in the early church. And he said, I paraphrase it, he said, if we have the Blessed Mother in our hearts, and if we have the Blessed Mother on our lips, Mary, when Satan comes to attack us, and he's going to, he's going to pester us, when he comes to attack us, it's like this, the shield comes between us and him, and he can't get through. And he has to go back to hell embarrassed. Isn't that a beautiful thought? That's her power as the great anti-diabolicum, the one who crushes the head of Satan. And therefore she promised, I'll draw you to myself, I'll help you to remain childlike, so the powers of Satan cannot get through. Beautiful. I was saying that one day actually out loud for some reason, I'm not sure. And I was, because after I read that, I started saying when there was a temptation or something, I would say, Mary, Mary, Mary. And it was amazing what would happen. And so I was saying that one day and a little girl, four year old, was standing there and she heard me and she said, what are you saying, sister? And in my best trying to explain it to a little four year old, I tried to tell her. And then she said, Sister, you have that all wrong. I said, I do? Yes, you do. And then she, I said, well, what am I supposed to do? What am I supposed to say? And she said, don't you know that Mary is your mama? mama? I said, yeah, I know she's my mama. And she said, well, then you should say Mary, Mama Mary. Not just Mary, Mary, Mama Mary. So that's what I do now. It's beautiful. It's powerful. And this is her promise. I will draw you to myself and away from the diabolical forces. She wants to help us remain childlike. That means to be dependent, to know that I need God in my life. I need the Blessed Mother. Childlikeness means to be trusting. I trust. It means to be daring. We know how daring children are. It's amazing how daring they can be. And childlikeness means to be victorious. Now we need to really reflect and ponder on this beautiful world of childlikeness so we really understand very deeply what the Blessed Mother is going to do for us and how important this is in our covenant. And on page 60, it begins to look at different definitions of childlikeness. And I would just like to look at a few of them with us so that we really grasp what does it mean to be a child? Because it's a world that is totally unknown to many people. When you talk to people about being childlike, they think of being childish, and that's not it at all. It's childlike. The first quote, what is holiness? Holiness means being formed in the likeness of Christ. What do we mean by that? We should put on the form of Christ. We should assume the shape of Christ. What is the form of Christ? And we know that we are all called to be another Christ. And what is that form? 
It is the childlike surrender to the Father, childlike. You see, when Jesus came to save us, he also came to teach us and to show us how we are to relate to God. He came to teach us that God is our Father, our Father who art in heaven, not our judge, not our creator, he is, but our Father. And what relationship should we have to the Father? A childlike. When you say Father, you think of children. When you say Mother, you think of children. So Father, a childlike relationship. And Jesus lived that throughout his entire life to show us. Holiness is not knowledge, but childlike surrender after the example of Christ. This applies both to man and woman. Naturally, this childlike surrender should be deep, and if it is deep, it involves our wills and our feelings. So that childlike relationship is not just a head relationship, but it penetrates my whole being down into my subconscious, out of which I live then. And if I'm really childlike, you know, really trusting, dependent, then I don't have any fear. I don't have any anxiety because I know my Father will take care of me. There's a beautiful story told, it's just a story, it's not true, but it's a, uh, a beautiful way of looking at this childlikeness. And there's a little boy, he's on this big ocean liner, and this storm comes up, they're in the middle of the ocean, and everybody's panicking, they're running around, fearful, what's gonna happen to us, we're all gonna die. And this little boy sits there, very calmly, and he's playing on the deck with his toys. And somebody finally comes up to him and says, little boy, don't you know that we are going to die? You better get ready. The, the ship is gonna sink. And the little boy looks up at them with a big smile and he says, I guess you don't know, but my father is the captain. So my father will take care. You know, it's that, that endless childlike trust. That's childlikeness. That in every situation, we believe that my Father will take care. My Father knows what's best for me. 